Hey what's up Halo fans and welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video 343 made an official announcement that Halo Infinite has been delayed to 2021. Now honestly this is very good news, I really do think Halo Infinite needed more time. I'm really happy with this uh, decision because when I was reading one of the old blog posts that 343 made where they mentioned about the Halo Infinite gameplay demo we saw was several weeks old. When I read that part of the blog I truly did feel like the game needed to be delayed if that was the case uh, but here we are Halo Infinite has been officially delayed to 2021. Of all the stuff we saw in the gameplay demo like the bad graphics and visuals 343 can now definitely improve them rapidly. I had a good feeling that Halo Infinite will be delayed because you know because how the gameplay looked and you know there was no official release date and even though when you had Microsoft you know kept saying oh Halo Infinite will you know be scheduled this year released this year and that was like three or four months for the game to come out and we had no sign of Halo Infinite beta I just felt the game wasn't ready at all I know there are some people out there who are very upset about Halo Infinite being delayed but let's look at the positive you know this is actually good news you know and it has restored a lot of hopes for other people who had so much doubt after watching the gameplay demo so you guys you know should feel the same way uh, the gameplay demo we saw didn't look ready and it would have been catastrophic you know if it was released this year. Now I'm really utterly confident with Halo Infinite's graphics and visuals that they will be improved. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Okay and I'm gonna go off topic a little here, you know, I still want to mention it. Um, you all remember uh, the movie called Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I remember seeing the trailer for that you know, for the very first time and everyone were literally giving backlash at the directors on how they designed Sonic and on how he looked. His art style wasn't right, it doesn't look like it was Sonic at all. He looked like a weird deformed monkey. There were so many people were criticizing the the, the design, you know, the next thing you know they, they delayed the movie, they listened to fans feedback. And look at him now, he looks so much better in, in the, the actual release. It's how you would expect him to look like. So my point is, Halo Infinite can follow the same path. You know, right now the game looks very bad, but the actual release, it could look uh, way beautiful. So thank you so much, uh, 343, for listening to the fans' feedback. Uh, if the graphics do look like the 2018 trailer, like the graphics we saw previously, um, that'll be incredible. I mean, it might not really look like that, but it can still look, look stunning. If you look back at the Halo 3 trailers, you know, we saw, the first trailer of Halo 3, those graphics, you know, looks way better than the actual in-game graphics. But Halo 3 still has stunning graphics in-game. Uh, so if, if Halo Infinite isn't going to look like that from the 2018 trailer, at least make it look stunning. But honestly, the graphics we saw from the 2018 should be exactly like that in-game since it will be running on the most powerful console. I also wanted to mention that now the game has officially been delayed, I was uh, thinking about the content that wouldn't make it in at launch, like ray tracing and the class of Magnum and Shotgun, they may actually make it in after all, since it's, you know, I think it's possible, like I really do hope you know, 343, you know, can add those before launch, they have the time and the work to do it now, um, you know, I, I want everything to be at launch, like Forge, you know, gamers like Infection, Theatre, and the weapons, I want everything to be ready at launch, and nothing broken, there's no excuse now for 343, this is no longer five years of development now, it's, it's now heading into six years of development. So yeah, I'm very proud with the with this announcement that 343 made. I know some of you guys, you know, may feel devastated, you know, but in the end, it's good for Halo Infinite. Yeah, I do realize we have to wait more longer. Uh, the game may launch around, you know, November 2021, but I'm totally fine with that. You know, I have, I have a Halo MCC on PC, keeping me busy. Um, hopefully 350 can show more info on Halo Infinite, like it's multiplayer, you know, and Forge. You know, it's, uh, you know, something to keep uh, to keep us occupied. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna stop the video here now. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be uh, sure to smack that like button and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit the notification bell for more Halo content. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. I'm always gonna be streaming Halo on Twitch, so please do follow me on there. And let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think of the delay. Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Are you guys happy with it or angry about it? And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.